Welcome everyone to the UBC Engineering Open House. It's a delight to be here and to be chatting with you tonight. So as Aaron said, my name is Sarah Busey and I'm the Director of Experiential Learning and Academic Services in Engineering. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about how to maximize your university experience while studying as an engineering student at UBC. So what does it mean to maximize your university experience? High school is likely a well understood academic system for you now. You understand how it works and how to study. But moving into a post-secondary setting that is less familiar and much larger, you kind of have to learn some new skills and learn to adapt. So students, we know, you know that engineering is a challenging discipline and that the volume and pace of work is going to increase. And parents, we know that you're also concerned about the trans transition, how your student will keep up with the pace, make friends, and eventually build a career. We also know that students and parents want to ensure that their students are going to get an awesome experience and will have access to the resources and programs to make sure that they'll be successful during and after their degree, as well as getting access to the skills and experiences that will make them competitive in an ever-changing job market. So today, so today, we're going to talk about maximizing your academic experience, maximizing your career potential, maximizing fun, as well as making sure that you're taking care of yourself while you're doing it. So the first way to think about maximizing your transition to UBC is through making sure that you really take the opportunity to understand the new campus, the resources, and to start building community. Many students have questions like, what can I expect in UBC engineering? How will I thrive in UBC engineering? What does the engineering program expect for me? How can I find community and make friends in engineering? How do I know if I need help? And where do I find help if I need help? To help answer those questions, we have some really great programming and resources. And the first thing that that uh, Aaron and Marie mentioned earlier in their presentation is always to start off with our orientations. So we have the amazing Jumpstart program offered on both campuses that will introduce you to senior students engineering. They'll You'll learn about, about campus, where to find things, you'll meet professors and learn more about your degree requirements and how to access resources. We also have Imagine Day and Create on, on our campuses the Vancouver and Okanagan campuses that are another really exciting day where you get to meet other students, learn more about the degree. Um, there's a pep rally, a faculty welcome, all the design teams are out and it's just a really great community feel. On the Vancouver campus, we also have the Welcome to Engineering Guide, which is a self-paced course that has everything you need to know as a first year student. Things like registration, degree requirements, first year curriculum, and also we run in-person sessions throughout the summer by our experiential learning team. Things about navigating the UBC engineering experience as an international student, transitioning from high school and hearing from senior students about what they wish they knew when they were doing that transition. How to get involved in engineering life, as well as a session with lots of great stories about co-op and other experiential learning opportunities. Maximizing your university experience also means building a community and having people around you that you can have fun with and can support you. So this can be really daunting when you get when you don't know anyone and you're starting at a new school that's a lot larger than high school, but there are a lot of great places to build community in your first year. The first thing you can do to do this is to attend Jumpstart, Imagine Day or Create. Um, but we also have other incredible options where students can connect. So these photos on the screen here are from Imagine Day this year, and it's just such a great day. You can see all the engineering students out in red. Lots of students have been working together through the Jumpstart Orientations Program. There's chanting happening. It's just a really exciting day to start building friendships that will last throughout the first year. A big part of this is our undergraduate societies, so the EUS and NSOC. Um, EUS is on the Vancouver campus and the NSOC or Engineering Society is on uh, the Okanagan campus. And uh, they're just do an excellent job of creating student events, opportunities to get together, um, and sort of bringing some of that engineering tradition uh, alive. We also have EDI student groups. Um, there's groups like the National Society for Black Engineers and Women in Engineering, as well as Gears and Queers that provide community support and professional, to professional development opportunities. There's many UBC clubs from the UBC Dance Club to our design teams that are really great ways for students to um, uh, enhance their interests and, and, and meet other people. And then of course we have residents and collegia. And collegia is for our commuter, stu commuter students and offers a space where, where students can um, set up for the day, build community um, when they have to commute back and forth, as well as residents for our students who are living on campus. 
So next, let's talk about how to maximize your academic experience in engineering. Engineering is a challenging discipline and our students take a very large course load. However, there are also things beyond just taking classes that are foundational information to understand, such as how to register into courses, understanding degree requirements, and accessing resources to support new study habits, which is something that we know students often struggle with in their first year. We have exceptional teams of academic advisors in both Engineering Academic Services and the School of Engineering Academic Services team. Um, and one of which I think there should be a couple in the next session um, on academic advising who will be able to answer any of your questions. Our academic advisors are here to work with students in navigating their degree. And this includes everything from reg registration, degree progressions, understanding transfer credits, academic concession, and really anything related to academic success. We also have incredible tutoring and exam support to help figure out how to write exams in post-secondary settings uh, and understand the expectations of you in your coursework. UBC also has incredible health support, which includes things like wellness support, counseling services, and student health services to ensure that students are taking care of their mental and physical health on both the Okanagan and Vancouver campuses. And on the Vancouver campus, we're very lucky to have a designated counselor that's dedicated just to APSI students. So Gordon Lai, our embedded counselor, um, only sees applied science students, engineering students, and really can understand the unique challenges that our students face and how to help them navigate those challenges. So the next topic I want to talk about is how to maximize career readiness during your degree. And this is through accessing some of the incredible experiential learning opportunities that we have in engineering. Experiential learning is very simply learning by doing, and engineering as an applied discipline is experiential at its core. Students will get many experiential learning opportunities in the classroom through labs and design projects, but we also offer some incredible co-curricular and extracurricular experiences such as our co-op program, which is the second largest in Canada, design teams, research projects, and entrepreneurship projects. All of this is information is very conveniently summarized in the Engineering Experiential Learning Hub or eHub and is designed to support students in understanding their options, understanding the skills that they can expect to build and enhance through that experience and then connecting them with the student, um, the student with the experience itself. So why is this important? I think we all are all are, we know that jobs have been and will continually be disrupted by technology and more than ever employers are looking beyond technical skills to a new mix of skills such as critical thinking, emotional intelligence and multidisciplinary solve, problem solving. And more than ever after uh, the COVID-19 pandemic, there's an increased demand for global competencies such as cultural awareness, language and adaptability. All of these skills have roots in the classroom but a lot of learning and career readiness comes from building and evolving these skills outside the classroom, in the workplace, and in other experiences like design teams. So skills such as professionalism, communication, emotional intelligence, teamwork, and inclusive leadership are all critical to learn so that students are ready to enter the job market after graduation. So let's talk through some of the incredible experiences that students have to maximize their time at UBC. Um, and let's start off with work experience and careers resources. So Erin um, mentioned this earlier in her presentation, um, but UBC has the second largest uh, co-op program uh, in Canada, and UBC Engineering has the largest engineering program in Western Canada. There's going to be a presentation on Saturday that gives you a lot more detail about that, but it really is an exceptional opportunity. It's available to all engineering disciplines. We have um, jobs available in, in, in each discipline and really uh, a lot of career support to be able to help students figure out what they want to do in their career and start to secure employment in, in engineering. Uh, in terms of research, uh, there's tons of research opportunities and we also offer awards for students to undertake paid research on campus. UBC has an incredible program called Work Learn, which offers on-campus paid work experiences. There's ample opportunities to volunteer, and you can see this picture here um, is some of our or wonderful orientation leaders. So senior students that we're uh, bringing in and supporting our new students uh, on Imagine Day this year. Uh, there's also lots of entrepreneurship programs and opportunities. And then of course we have career resources. So career skills are critical skills to learn and practice. I know sometimes we think, oh, I'll just write a resume, but they really are things that we need to learn and practice. So things like creating a resume, learning how to interview, um, they're all critical skills. And we have a series of toolkits designed specifically for engineering students for them to learn how to do these things, as well as an engineering career peer coach program. And these are senior students with, um, with the 
with engineering experience who are available to all students for support with job applications, interview practice, and job search skills. Another really critical part in maximizing our, our career potential is starting to build our professional network. And our professional network is extra important as engineers. Um, and it's a great way to maximize career potential. And it's really never too early to start building our network. So we have dedicated staff in engineering who work with industry in order to make sure that the industry has access to our incredibly engineering student talent. And our students really are in high demand. We also have mentoring programs that connect both junior and senior students, as well as students with industry professionals. Uh, we offer career fairs. Our wonderful engineering undergraduate society on the Vancouver campus offers the engineering um, career fair in the winter each year, which is a massive undertaking and very popular with employers. We also offer industry nights to allow students to connect with industry professionals in, in industries that they're interested in. Our Career Center offers company information sessions and uh, engineering companies are, in, uh, are high users of these information sessions and they're really looking to connect with engineering students. And finally, we have Engineers and Geoscientists BC. And so we're very happy that we're able to offer free student membership to all UBC engineering students to allow them to start exploring what it means to be an, uh, um, a part of the Engineering and Geoscientists BC, as well as gain some of the valuable professional development opportunities through that organization. One of my favorite opportunities that we have that it, we always hear from students is just such an exceptional way to maximize your career, uh, your degree is international experiences. So we have many opportunities that are available from doing research abroad. Um, so going to another university to participate in a research project, taking a seminar in another country or participating in an exchange or what we have call coordinated international experience or CIE. So CIE is um, a specialized exchange program for engineering students that provides the opportunity to take pre-mapped courses that will contribute to degree progression. And we offer programs in Asia, Europe, and Australia at some of the top engineering schools in the world. So just truly incredible opportunities for students to go and, and complete parts of their degree. And finally, we come to student groups. UBC Engineering really does have an incredible number of options in regards to student groups, and they provide excellent professional development opportunities. So uh, it's always awesome to mention our design teams. They're just an incredible opportunity to gain both technical skills as well as professional development skills and leadership skills. We have over 35 teams that are dedicated to an enormous range of topics. You can see three of our car teams are exhibited. They're exhibiting their cars in, um, in the picture below, but we also have teams dedicated to biomedical engineering, sustainability. Uh, we have a group that is designing, that designs autonomous sailboats. There's just an incredible number of options for students um, to be able to find something they're interested in and gain a really cool um, technical experience or leadership experience. We also have some great student government opportunities, which is another excellent opportunity to build leadership, advocacy, and organizational skills. And we have many different industry associations, such as the Engineers for a Sustainable World, the Canadian Society for Civil Engineers, and the BC Water and Waste Association, plus many more. And these provide the opportunity for students to connect with other students that are passionate on the same topics, as well as connect with people uh, who are working in those industries. So I've talked about a lot of things today and figuring out what is the right choice for you can be really, really challenging. So whether you want to upgrade your career skills, gain co-op experience, go to an event, network with industry professionals, study abroad, find a mentor, there's so many options. And on our Experiential Learning Hub website, we have this great navigation tool that allows students to sort through all the different options and then understand the skills that they will build through participation in those different experiences. And of course, there's many different paths to get to an engineering career. And um, in the Experiential Learning Hub, we have um, some really excellent stories that showed the different pathways that our students go through uh, to get to their endpoint and whatever that is. So it's a great way uh, to take a look at the, what other students are doing and, and thinking about what might be the right experience for you. So that's it for me. Um, here's the, the links to the website for both the Okanagan and Vancouver campus um, experiential learning hubs. And I thank you all for joining me this evening.